What's up, peoples? It's a terraformer playing Shining Stars, and today we're going to Course Six, and which is confusing because Course Seven is actually in that door, alone top up there. So we're not done with Overworld One just yet, for some weird reason. I don't know, but here it is in Overworld Two. But you know, there's things, there's other hacks that <laughs> do it even more confusingly nowadays. And this song in particular is loud for very questionable reasons that I don't think anyone has the answer to, or at least anymore. It's very much lost in the sands of time. Uh huh, uh huh. This star. I, I, stars. There, There's multiple things going on down here, and it's just. <laughs> Kind of, kind of something happening down there. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it is difficult to use SketchUp. I've tried to make levels, SM64 levels in particular, because that's the only thing I really looked into. But uh, it, it makes awkward things happen sometimes. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, you're just like, eh, it's, it's good enough. It, it functions, kind of. Can't really see too good, but it's even worse with Mario Cam. But th this is at least, like, uh, oh. This isn't even quicksand? Okay. I know there is quicksand somewhere in that location, but that wasn't... Alright! Yup. <laughs> the ruins. So I believe they're talking about this structure. Some red coins involved. And there's a the star somewhere lurking at the top here, probably. Um... What was weird about this? There, like, I guess because of this jump, which you just do that. I think I was trying to get on top of it sometimes, but just random, vague memories, and that's not even the right story. Right, sure. <laughs> trying to go in order, man, but you're making it all messed up. It's uh, very close to. Desert Rose by Sting, which uh, is a song. It's a music popularized at some point, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, it's it's very fitting. I, I should like name the episode of it subtly because I tend to have difficulties naming the videos. Also, see, someone like Raukow has often a naming gimmick because he's made videos for so long that it's like, uh, oh, whoops, that, it, the sand is slippery. It's not ice, but it functions like ice. I think what's interesting about this hack is that although the music is like, not good ports <laughs> by any means. They, um, they're pretty good songs for the most part, and like they ended up not getting super overused. That's lovely. Thank you, camera. Why do I keep trying to go somewhere else? It's literally right here. Just stop. But camera. I, I blame the camera 100% for that, because I was sliding in the wrong direction, which can happen just randomly, going the wrong way, but no, that time was not my fault. I will not take responsibility for it. Also, controlling Mario 64 camera with the, um, the C-Stick is... Kind of a pain 
for me. I know a lot of people like it though. Nice kick. All right, like, how do I want to do the? Uh, sure. Okay, that that functions, I guess. Okay, now don't move. Just camera first, and then go. Nice sliding punches there. You would be an incredible boxer, Mario. But um, yeah, this is, this is the thing. So you got the fire spewers that can be very deadly. You put the secrets right on top of them, but they're well indicated secrets, and I can definitely applaud that. Cannot say the same for some hacks. Past here, we get a pyramid, but more importantly, we get more coins, so I may or may not be back here. There's a lot of coins up here, but we can go over here with some more clouds, and... I don't know, I, um... This area is like, soft lock area, isn't it? Do I, do I want to go... I don't even know if I want to go in here, because I feel like there's... That. I'm kind of glad that it happens. You get the true SM64... ROM hack slash Shining Stars experience, and soft locks are very plentiful sometimes, and I think I fall for that every single time I play this hack, and oh my god. <laughs> okay. I managed to live through that. That I have died many times from less, from larger platforms, <laughs> but I don't even know why that room has so many things going on and you just skip to the ends, basically, but I don't know, maybe he intended to have them bigger sometimes. Some hacks, it's just like, just make it a little bigger, or just make it a little smaller. Right. and hack that comes to mind that I was playing recently, SM64 Extra. Now, I first streamed this early on, and I got most of the stars. One stage, I didn't get any stars. Why? Because there's a bunch of tiny-ass platforms that uh, you have to climb up, and it, it sucks. <laughs> but I, I went back to it. I realized, I was like, okay, I actually didn't beat this one. I was like, okay, I'll go, and it'll take me long to get however many stars it was. Like, nine stars, seven of the course, two in the other world, and the battle three. But anyway, that won't take me long. I start the first star, these small platforms. It took me a pretty good deal of time, you know, with the other stars involved that were just jank, but that was, that had its own issues, but in its own right, it was tolerable and playable. But then, I got to the Bowser fight, and the Bowser level, rather, and I don't really know what this hack's intended, like, difficulty ranking was. I remember people comparing it to 74, which is pretty serious. I remember Simple for Flip saying a long time ago that it was a pretty easy hack, and it starts out easy, sure, but it is by no means an easy hack. It, even if you don't want to 100%, there's things you have to do just to beat it that are pretty tough. But it's, there, you have to get all the reds basically, and they're all in these four different sections of very tiny platforms, like, basically the size of Mario, for the most part, and it, it's just, I, I didn't play it very long, <laughs> I had to stop, it, it was just going to take way too long, so things like that, just like, scale up, just a little bit, just enough, but then, some hacks are very much, like, whoa, too big, um, Rainbow Stars comes to mind, SM65, the Rainbow Stars, which is actually a hack where the levels came from other people, mostly, mostly Mario Lin Crash, as he now goes by, originally Mario Crash, now Lin Crash, but, they make solid levels, but they were made, they were just like, made really large for no real good reason. And, I don't know, there's one up there, there's one over there, there's another one somewhere. I like to avoid that area as much as possible, so I guess I'll go for this one. But yeah, they were just kind of stolen, made large, and put like a bunch of dumb stuff in it, make it even worse. Um, how do I make this? I might be better off just going all the way around. It, it'll probably end up happening after I attempt this for too long. So that, how exciting, right? Like, I have a good idea of what's supposed to happen, but it's kind of tight, so I'll just leave it. Is there one in the war? Probably, right? That seems like something. Yeah, there it sure is. Tucked away. I know all the little, little secrets of the hacking community. They do this, they put the, they put them underneath. Bridges with water, occasionally without water, but usually bridges with water will have a red coin underneath it, 100% of the time. 
had an idea for level design that I was gonna, like, throw a cliché on its head. Hopefully I'll be able to think about it while I'm recording a video, but it's not gonna be this one, unfortunately. With editing, I probably could fit in another level, but... Uh, the next level, I have a feeling I'm gonna be running around a lot in circles, not finding a particular red coin that I always miss out on. So, I'd rather leave that to its own thing, and I died and softlocked more in that level than I expected. So, see everybody.